that? Hi! <laughs> Sorry. Alfie Juniper. You're the flesh here. I know who you are, Alfie. Though I am shocked to see you exist. But what were you thinking interrupting my match? And that security guard almost put you in a local medical facility. Look, nothing I haven't encountered before. I realized that the director might need to do another take, but I just couldn't help it. Another take? That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. What couldn't you help? Like, I told you, I was on the verge of an incredible opportunity. Although, I may have misspoken a bit. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I was on the verge of two incredible opportunities. And they both came through! <laughs> How would you like to be in a major motion picture? By any chance, is your friend shooting this in a garage? Not at all. I have two offers for you, co-starring with two top stars. I don't know. Uh, maybe you heard of them. John Cena and Dave Bautista? I think they both spent some time in WWE, if I'm not mistaken. You're kidding. Nope. You're not kidding. Like I said, I made some calls and used my connections. Trouble is, they both shoot at the same time. So I need your gut reaction. Would you rather star in a blockbuster action movie with Cena, or a quirky indie picture that's destined for award season success with Batista? A chance to do a big budget film with John Cena? <laughs> Can't say no to that. Ah, then I won't either. <laughs> I'll let the casting director know. I'll talk to your people around here too. I'm sure when I give them my juniper charm, they won't mind you taking some time off to film. Alfie, thank you. I gotta admit, I doubted you. But you really came through. Honestly? I mean, most people doubt me. That's what allows me to be sneaky, like a ninja. Coming back from break, first team to the set. Well, this is certainly new for you. I guess Cena money goes a long way. I'm hardly there, yet. Let's just say I've done a bit of upgrading all around. I wasn't aware the film came out yet. No, but there's been a lot of confidence in Mudslide 2, based on the dailies. Well, in any case, we're glad to have you back in action tonight. Perfect. And I've made some minor edits to my entrance for my surprise return as well. You know, made it more bespoke to me. I'm excited to be back and bring some A-list buzz to Raw. A-list buzz. Very well. Zoe Stark is here to face a mystery opponent. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Zoe Stark! You can feel the anticipation building in the WWE Universe tonight. Who is Zoe facing? She is focused and determined, Michael. 
Whoever walks through that curtain had better be ready for a fight. We're going to find out who Zoe is facing any second now. It's the captain of the silver screen. And from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. I gotta hand it to the cap. That was quite the arrival, and she looks like a million bucks. Hollywood suits her. And maybe she ought to take the first bus back. It's time for the superstar with the X-Factor to dazzle the WWE Universe. There is so much buzz over Cap's role in her upcoming movie. All my Hollywood friends are raving about it right now. Since when do you have Hollywood friends? Now, Miz doesn't count. Nonetheless, WWE and Raw is lucky to have the Cap back. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Butterflies the arms and over into a suplex. Impressive reversal there. Placed in the corner. And the Bulldog. Stark looking to play a bit of the intimidation game here. Coming took advantage. Can't prepare your face for that. Oh my God! Wow, breathtaking. Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. And the powerhouse Zoe Stark knocked off her block a bit. Sweeps the legs, crushing double stomp. Oh, spinning oh, heel kick. That'll rock anybody. She sent flying into the corner. This won't end well. They've got their opponent position on the top rope, lighting up the chest with more in mind. Into a superplex! Any move from the top like that is nearly catastrophic. She's still got a lot of stamina left. <laughs> Zoe with the retaliation. A costly error there. Ugh. Forearm! Stark can't stop this string of offense. Yeah, now Stark's got to turn the momentum around. Stark finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Stark hoping to start a rush of her own with that attack. Is it enough? She's quick to get her shoulder up. Staying in this one. Oh, God, that looked devastating. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Perched up top. Nobody hard for that one. As the legs wrap, Fisherman suplex. Goes into the pin. She breaks the count quick. Fighting hard to stay in this match. That's the good stuff, yeah! 
broken up with a fist to the face. Holy. And that failed to hit the mark. Big back body draw. You see the height on that? Oh, man, what a strike. Butterflies the arms and over into a suplex. That'll rock anybody. Hamstring crushing knee strikes. Repeated strikes. Constant pressure being kept on Zoe. Zoe has to wake herself up and turn her intensity up a notch. She looks hell bent on finishing things right now. Shot to the body now has the arm trapped. Pump handle position. And they call that the better end. Will Stark recover? Two count. It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner. And Zoe Stark gets put away. This has to be a difficult loss, but ultimately Zoe Stark was shut down. It's not something we expected to see, Corey, but Stark will leave here a loser. Good evening, and welcome to Captive Audience with the best host in WWE and all of Hollywood, me. <laughs> Ever since I returned to WWE from filming my starring role opposite John Cena in the blockbuster Mudslide 2, I've known that I have a special responsibility to share the biggest news and mostest personalities with the whole of the WWE universe in ways that only I can. <laughs> Strap in, it's gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> Stay with me after the break where we'll be talking with the Dark Horse Universal Champion about his meteoric rise and grilling the finest of meats with Otis. Oh yeah! Oh my goodness, can I just say I'm such a fan of everything you've got going on? <laughs> you certainly can. Do you want an autograph or something? You're so funny. I don't get autographs. Do you want one? <laughs> I'm good, but how can I help you? I just see everything you're doing. In the ring, you're winning. You're awesome. Outside of the ring, movies, web shows, and that adorable captive audience thing. By the way, I totally got how the title was playing off your nickname. I don't think most people did, but I got it. Anyway, the one thing I think is missing from the whole Cap Charismatic universe is me. No offense, but I'm not really looking for a tag partner right now. Hmm. But are you looking for an assistant? You do have a lot going on and I'd be great at it. I can get you in and take you to all the best spots, snap pics with you on social media, go shopping with you. I mean, that's my specialty. Wow. That's a lot, but I do have a match in Japan coming up and I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed juggling it all, but it's more work work than what you described. I'd be looking for someone who could help arrange travel, maybe do a little research on some guests for captive audience, answer some basic publicity requests and emails, that sort of stuff. Probably not your thing. Are you kidding me? I love buying plane tickets and digging up dirt on your guests. Sign me up. Plus, I'm on my phone all the time. Could this be more perfect? It would be great to have some help. I've got a match against Dakota Kai, and with all this on my plate, I've barely had time to get to the gym. 
Maybe it's worth a try. Yes, tell me what I can do. I'll give you a list and see what you can tackle. Oh, and I'm sorry, but I do have some ring gear at the dry cleaners, and it'd be great if you could grab that. So cliche. I love it. Send me everything, not a problem. And you get yourself to the gym, boss. the woman who dazzles in the ring or on the screen. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. I was talking to Cap's agent before the show, and did you know she's up for a huge part in a superhero movie? Amazing. What's amazing is that the WWE Universe is continuing to support this part-timer who only shows up to wrestle when her schedule permits. I can feel the ratings spiking. An absolutely cutthroat competitor. Here comes Dakota Kai. Looking ready to assert her control. And representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. A world-traveled competitor has taken her game to the next level since joining damage control. Well, some would say Kai's got a questionable attitude. But besides that, she's proven she will do anything to win. Oh, and now she has even more help in the form of damage control. Dakota Kai might just be one of the most treacherous and cutthroat competitors the WWE has ever seen. Her incredible ambition is matched only by her willingness to do anything to make her goals happen. Dakota simply wants the glory she knows she so richly deserves. If a few friendships or the hollow respect of the WWE fans is the price, then she's happy to pay. We'll see just how far Kai is willing to go to secure the victory here. And she has to face a woman who has been at the top of her game. It's going to be hard for anyone to take on a superstar with the kind of trajectory she's been on lately. Arm system, look at these oh. series of boots. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Snap mare. Oh, and the rolling next snap. <laughs> the confidence, the poise, the undoubtable spirit of Dakota Kai is beaming here. Catches Kai with a big counter. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Double underhook carefully applied, muscling up their opponent. Butterfly backbreaker. You can sense what her intentions are here. Shot to the body, now has the arm trapped. Pump handle position. This spells doom for Kai. That's gotta be it. Two. It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. Look at the anger and frustration on the face of Dakota Kai. Dakota thought it was going to be easier than it was, but wow, was she wrong.
Have such a great time in Japan. I'm feeling so good about this trip for you. Thanks. I have to admit, it was nice to fully focus on training. I felt better facing Dakota Kai than I have in a while. And I can't remember the last time I got to the airport this relaxed. Do you have my flight info? So glad to be of service. Flight info, fun wrinkle. Apparently, it's a whole different day in Japan right now. Who knew? Anyways, time zones are really confusing and your flight's not for another eight hours. But no worries, you're here now and we have a car there to take you straight from the airport to the Japan Dome for your match. I don't even get to check into my hotel first? That's a long flight, Chelsea. There won't be any time for that. It's already tomorrow there. Crazy, right? Anyway, good news is I got you into the absolute best sushi restaurant in Tokyo after your match. You're welcome. I'm sure it'll be great, assuming I'm not too tired and can still eat solid foods. You're in luck. They have amazing soups. You'll love it. And since you'll be gone for a bit, I should totally have time to grab that dry cleaning before you get back. Thanks, and please do.
the woman who dazzles in the ring or on the screen. The following contest is a five-woman battle royal. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. I was talking to Cap's agent before the show, and did you know she's up for a huge part in a superhero movie? Amazing. What's amazing is that the WWE Universe is continuing to support this part-timer who only shows up to wrestle when her schedule permits. Cap is ready for her close-up. Cora Jade is here. Jendo stick in hand, ready for a fight. And her opponents, first, from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jane. As far as Cora is concerned, no one measures up to her. She's on another level. And you know what? I think she might be right. She has a thorny and jealous attitude. That's for certain. And she's always ready to pick a big fight. Get ready to see the toughness of Cora Jade on full display. Well, she showed up with a kendo stick, so we get it. She's tough. Indy Wrestling is here. Quite the impressive young talent. And from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Pretty cool fact here. Indy began her in-ring career at just 19 years old. Or how about this, Michael? Indy Hartwell made her NXT and main roster debuts by the age of just 23. I had my first match at 16. Where are my flowers? Why does no one talk about me? You guys are biased. Behold the modern day witch. Uh, Dawn gives me the creeps. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Isla Dawn. The mind games of Isla Dawn have already begun as she casts a disturbing gaze out on the WWE Universe. Dawn is, well, she's slightly unhinged. She's a walking nightmare, you mean. Don't let all the theatrics distract you from the fact that Isla Dawn is as vicious as they come. No doubt about that, Cole. Expect no mercy from Dawn in this one.
Oh, <laughs> here comes trouble. But also, here comes one of the top young talents from NXT. And from Tampa, Florida, J.C. Jane. Jane is a multiple-time NXT Women's Tag Champion, co-holder of the longest reign in that title's history. And we are only seeing the start of J.C. Jane's dominance. Already so accomplished, I can't wait to see what JC does next. Well, you won't have to wait much longer, Cole. We've got some unexpected chaos as four women all showed up scheduled to face Cat, who is expecting a singles match. Well, nice of WWE to change this to a battle royal, so no one has to go home disappointed. That still doesn't explain why Cap's in street clothes. Something's clearly off with her, and she better hope it doesn't carry over into the ranks. Chuck block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the neck. Debilitating attacks like that are exactly how you create a big opening. She's got an answer for that. She heads into the ring. Burning the tables. Front face lock applied. Nice suplex. Big knee to the midsection. JC Jane just couldn't get out of harm's way there. Yuragi! That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. Put into the corner now. She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. Ooh. Oh, what a chop. Climbing the ropes. Front face into a superplex. You really have to throw caution to the wind to even consider hitting something like that. She's sent to the outside. Casey so James big right hand. hand. Oh, Cora stopped that in its tracks. Ah, uh, Jay fell right into that one. Ooh, she just turned it around. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. That was a vicious display. You can only see the disdain in their eyes. It was just malicious. Just disrespectful. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Ooh. Countered it just in time. Setting foot in the ring now. Oh, James with good timing on the reversal. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Fans off the attack with an elbow. Running her Colorado. Beautiful. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Got red suplex. Making it look easy. Cobra clutch. Into a slam. <laughs> that will keep Dawn at bay. She adjusts it and reverses it. She's into the ring again. Inverted face lock into an elbow drop. Victory nearly in hand for Dawn.
Double leg takedown. Stop! Punching their way out of that one. Looks like an elimination is underway. Giving up on that elimination. You got to spend your energy wisely in this match. Here is your winner. And she has plenty to celebrate here tonight. We really saw what these competitors were made of here tonight. Yeah, especially the winner. So glad you're here. We never discussed my benefits package. PTO, 401k. Yeah, we'll get right on that. After we discuss how you and Tiffany totally screwed up and never canceled a single one of my opponents. You expected us to do that? I think Tiffany pretty clearly said you can cancel the one you don't need. Are you serious? You and your assistant, which is crazy by the way, but whatever, are supposed to be making my life easier, not making me look incompetent. I didn't even have my gear. It was still at the dry cleaners. Do you hear yourself right now? I really don't like this energy. You're coming in with a lot of attitude and totally talking to me like a subordinate. What's that about? You are a subordinate. Okay, that's it. These working conditions are unacceptable. My assistant and I are on strike. <laughs> oh, I'll strike you. That's what's gonna happen. Threatening striking workers with violence? Pretty sure that's legally protected. And beside that, not cool. But I don't think we have any other recourse than to teach you a lesson in the ring. I'd tell you to name the time and place, but I'm fairly sure you'd find a way to screw that up. So how about we just say raw next week? I'll check with Tiffany to make sure that works for my schedule, but fine. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Chelsea Green and Tiffany Stratton. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. Talk about surprises, it's Cap with Stacy Keebler. And their opponents. And Stacy Keebler. Chelsea Green and Tiffany Stratton tried to take advantage of Cap, and she wasn't having it. Now they're gonna deal with a WWE Hall of Famer. Who hasn't competed in ages? Respect to Stacy, but this is a whole different ballgame. Will Cap recruiting Keebler pay off, or will ring rust be an issue here tonight? These two former assistants used to roll calls, and now they're trying to roll their ex-boss. I'd expect executive-level chaos. 
but Caps relied on her Hollywood connections to recruit WWE Hall of Famer Stacey Keebler to join her enterprise. That's quite a merger. Well, let's see if there are more HR complaints or ER visits before this one's over. Whoa, drop kick all the way to the outside. Looking wobbly in the corner. right to the midsection. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. I don't have you walking funny. Oh, right to the side of the face. And Stacy is really playing it up for the WWE Universe. Brutal forearm. She's forced onto the defensive now. Yeah, very motivated Stacy in front of us. Our ringer applied. Top wrist lock, opponent down to one knee. Fighting back, however, punches in the midsection. Well, that is a sign that definitely gets the point across. Vicious, aggressive attacks. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. That takes them down. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Green is being stifled in this one. Chelsea needs to find a way to reverse her fortunes. Watch her set up in the corner. Boom! She might be in some trouble now. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. She makes the tag. She is unleashed. Rapid fire rights over and over. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Oh, spinning heel kick. That'll rock anybody. Tagged with a punch. Submission move, Fujiwara! Oh man, there's no... Rolls through, a clever escape and a knee! Oh, clothesline! Video! Had that one scouted. She was clearly waiting for that. Double wrist lock. Ooh, what a slap. Oh, oh, here we go. Suplexes, slams, and bombs are all painful, but being slapped like that is humiliating. You would know, Saxton. Oh, double shoulder block. It looks like Stratton didn't quite expect that. And sent right into the corner. enough energy for the simple kick out. How insulting is that? Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. Back body drop. Man, she had Stacy's number there. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. Stacy put a stop to that. Oh, kick to the face. Using the rope to their advantage, just stretching the arm. Oh, how painful. Sky high! Way up there. Tagged in. Wow, what a pump kick. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Put into place. I don't know if we're going to have any taste buds left after that. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Takes 
their breath out. Effective counter. She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? Oh, that can shatter a jump. Victory nearly in hand for Keebler. Makes a cover coming to the rescue. Oh. Strat turns it around. Just got clobbered. Unexpected result there. Hooked up. Stun gun! No, nothing fancy here. Tasting victory! Backed up! No! Kick out at two! There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. And she's stunned in the corner. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. There it is. Boom. Nice. And stay shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. She doesn't even get a count of one. She is showing Something special here tonight. Pulled back into the hip toss. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Chelsea on the receiving end. Fez press. Boom! Just driven into the mat. Pow! What a shot! Oh, pump handle here. And they call that the better end. Green is completely out of it. Double leg takedown, crushing double stomp. Crushing the hamstring. Well placed knees to the hamstring. Tags made. Whips across the rink. Flying shoulder block. Sidewalk slam. She's trying to fight back, but it doesn't look good. Truly fighting to the last breath, but we might be coming up on that soon. Uh-oh. Fought off with an elbow. She scores big with the counter. Right hand. Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. <laughs> Tiffany's on Dream Street. The cover. <laughs> and a victory here tonight. Here are your winners, Stacy Kubler and Anna. An incredibly impressive showing by this tag team. Really putting the sports in sports entertainment. This is a duo that really practiced their teamwork.